for the next 24 hours, we'll be eating street food in Baku, the capital of Azerbaijan. We're gonna eat some unique dishes that you have to try when you're in Baku. What's going on, you guys? Jika is here. Today, the first spot is national traditional Azerbaijani bread, breakfast, and all kinds of good things. Uh, so let's go and check it out with me, and that's the spot today. Let's go. They make tandoor bread, and I just love this type of bakery. Azerbaijani traditional bread yuka. The dough is kneaded, then rolled out into the flat oval shape, and these are placed on the walls of the tandoor. And usually tandoor warms up to extremely high temperatures, up to 500 degrees Celsius. And for example, pizza is cooked half of the temperature. That's why the baker is wearing a protective suit. Due to the high temperature as such, these breads cook super quickly and it gets very crispy. The nice charcoal inside. Oh, the bread is like actually slightly peeling off. Oh, nice, beautiful looking shape, crispy bread, and it has different types of textures. It has a crispy side, it has a super soft side, it has different holes in there, so throughout eating the whole parts of this bread, you're experiencing different textures, which makes it more fun, and especially when it's hot, it goes along together with ghee butter, regular just butter, while it's melting your, while you're eating it fresh, hot at the tandoor, or just check out this huge amount of dough that they're going to be using for these flat breads. The moment of truth, I actually took a little bite and it was pretty crunchy and salty. Um, let's do it again. Mm. Now this is one kind of experience to have tandoori bread. I mean, I'm pretty sure y'all have tried non Tandoori naan, but this type of bread is just you have basically yeast, salt, flour, simple ingredients, but the best tasting bread ever. Ketabs. This dish is enjoyed as a street food and a home cooked meal and can be made with a variety of different fillings. We have three different fillings today green version, these are finely chopped up herbs seasoned with salt and pepper, intestines, with salty chopped onions, and seasoned with spices. We have beef version, ground beef, chopped up onions, and simple spices like salt and pepper. The lady chef is rolling out the dough into the circles like tortilla and lavash. Then placing a small amount of filling in one half of the dough, folding the dough over the filling, pressing down the edges to seal it, and after they get placed in the warm up traditional Azerbaijani skillet. Kitabs are being cooked two to three minutes on each side until golden and crispy. Oh, kitab is ready. Now we got some different stuff in here. We got some veggies, greens, basically. We basically have spinach, green onions, some parsley, and dill stuffing. It's so pretty. Just check it out. All right, the moment of truth. I'm tasting this dish out. It has lots of sumac on top of this, and it I can see it's full of greens. Looks like quesadilla to me. slightly sour from that spinach and greens. Very refreshing. Good summertime snack. It's super hot. It's August. All right, we tried the one with greens. Now we have one with stomach filling and with meat. Oh, let's see which one is that. That looks like some mushed mushi. All actually um, decorated with some sumac. Very homey feeling. Definitely something that I would enjoy eating. Not that much of meat, but flavor. Pretty rich in flavor. I think it's some grounded meat. I think it's beef. Mm. Incredibly soft. What a nice feeling to be Azerbaijanian. Let's give the last one a try as well. So let's see, let's check for some extra smack and butter. I'm drooling right now. Each one, it gets better and better with each bite and different flavors. So this is the last one. I'm thinking, I'm thinking this is a stomach intestines, uh, but let's open it up and find out.
Oh, it's actually sealed. <laughs> That's okay. I'm just gonna give it a try like this. No! Oh! Oh my god! It's not that it's bad, it's just... You can taste the intestines in there. I'm a big fan of it, but um... It has some special flavor in there. <laughs> It has also, I taste, I also taste some lemon in there, a bit acidity in there, and um, this is pretty good intestines, but I wouldn't eat that. I think I'm just going to be finishing up the one with greens. Oh, this intestines made my mouth feel some type of way, and some beef ones. Azerbaijani stuffed chicken is stuffed with nuts and dried fruit mixture. They tie the legs up together to keep the fillings locked inside. So the chicken is already ready, stuffed and all covered up in tomato sauce, some mayo, some pepper, some chili peppers and um, yeah, let's uh, get to cooking. It's actually stuffed with some nuts and some onions and all kinds of different fillings. I cannot wait to test it out, try it out, and see what this Azerbaijanese chicken is all about. Then it gets roasted in an incredibly hot fire oven. The chicken looks incredibly juicy. It's been cooking over there in the tandoor for over an hour, and now it's time to taste it. Now check out all of the juices and sauces just dripping down on this flat, flat tray. Now the outside, the chicken skin is so crispy and this looks pretty juicy. All of the flavoring, the sauce, it's just really filled that meat up and made it a really super soft and beautiful. Lots of love and all of its juices. Time to give it a try. I've noticed that a lot of um, the ingredients here are pretty simple, not that much of crazy seasoning, which is pretty good for your health. Ever since I'm here, it's been already a few days, and I can feel that uh, I'm just healing overall. My body feels amazing, energized, and I just feel super strong and fully organic. The moment of truth, I got my glove on, and I'm about to test out this traditional chicken. Wow, for the stuffing is pretty interesting. It does look like a ground beef. Slightly sour. Nutty texture. I love it. Very slightly crunchy, but in a nutty way. <laughs> mm. The chicken's slightly dry though. Let's go for the leg. Let's go for the leg. Because that should be pretty good. Let's see how the chicken leg got cooked. You cannot go wrong with chicken leg. It's gonna be delicious. Dark meat, always softer, much softer, much better. Mm -hmm. It's okay. I like it. I think it's worth trying. Something interesting. There are so many different recipes for chicken, but this is worth trying. I think I'm gonna eat some more of that stuffing because that gives it a little special kick to it. Mm -hmm. I'll give it a good seven. Aydin Doneri Kebab. They make the best kebabs in the whole neighborhood. Lamb ribs, liver and lamb tail fat, local fish from the Caspian Sea. We will be trying out here. Grab your food to go, just place an order right here. Or if you're feeling like relaxing, you can get a private room just like we did and just enjoy your company and uh, hang out inside while you're enjoying this freshly cooked meal for you. Yeah.
lamb lula kebab is a traditional kebab made with minced lamb, lamb fat, and seasoning. The key to a perfect lula kebab is to use a good balance of meat and fat to make it tender, juicy while holding the kebab together. So he's gonna teach me how to do no. lula kebab. So I'm gonna take some of the meat. Do your shit. Squeeze it. Sit it in there. And right in the middle, I have to poke Sit it, it through. Tak, All right. right. So I have to pierce it through no, the skewer. No, 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 no. Okay. Do you do you do no. All right. And then we have to keep going. Do it. Uh huh. Do it right. oh, like this. Okay. So basically, snowballs. We're doing it together as a team. And then I have to start pressing on it, right? Together. In whoa, one whoa, 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 whoa. All right. right. Oh, so I have to. Move it ah. around and just, and then right. you have to confidently kind of squeeze yeah. it. Okay, so let's keep squeezing it. Oh, all right, all right, it's losing its shape. All right, so not so strong. All right, I see. Okay, you have to make it more straight. Ah, yeah, oh, and then with your um, pretty much your thumb, you have to press on it. I'll just check out that technique. Looks well, pretty easy, but um, it was pretty uh, tough. It takes a uh, takes a while. Miss is not. Miss is not. This is it takes about a full month to learn how to make that shape. Liver kebab with lamb fat. This type of kebab is a popular Azerbaijani and Caucasian dish, where pieces of liver are sandwiched between the thin strips of lamb fat. The fat melts during cooking, giving the liver rich and succulent flavor. Most delicious meat. This is what we eat in U.S. Pretty much uh, lamb ribs. So he basically says this is our the most delicious part. Sturgeon from the Caspian Sea. Uh, this is a classic and most regarded fish in Azerbaijan. It's firm, rich in flavor, and uh, this is what makes it perfect for kebabs. This is potato lila. So potato, yeah. uh, potato with lamb fat. Potato kebab is a mashed potato combined with a lamb fat. That way of cooking it makes it taste smooth and fluffy on the inside. And the potato gets a bit charred exterior as well. Wow, the smoke from all of these cooking of different ingredients. We got potatoes, some lamb meat, some beef, some liver, chicken wings, chicken thighs, some eggplants, tomato, some peppers as well in there grilling, chilling, and waiting for us to try them out. Let's have some compote first to get started with the day. I love compote. These are basically boiled cherries, any types of fruit, water, some sugar. And basically, compote is a fruit soup. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. So good. The taste of a childhood. It tastes like paradise. It tastes like a rainbow. What should we start with? Let's do it. Let's start with this. So we have liver and lamb tail fat. Yeah, you the thing is with liver, you're supposed to eat it with fat because liver is pretty dry, so. <laughs> oh, so good. Basically liver, but it's kind of like um, hard on the outside, not so crispy, hard texture, and then super soft on the inside, nice and salty. Nothing too much. The sumac adds a little kick to it. I'll do one more. 
Еще давай. You gotta love Azerbaijan for their kebabs. I love the variety, the assortment of different meats. Now also, not only meats, we got some chicken wings, chicken thighs, lamb, some meat inside of these lavashes. Beautiful variety. Now I do want to taste this potato kebab. And so this potato is boiled and then it's grilled on top of that coal. So that gives it a nice small little char. Amazing. All right, let's do this one. The kebab inside of the lavash. They separated it for us. Let's uh, give it a special, special look to this. Talma Lila Kabal. Even though this has lots of fat, it's pretty meaty. Still has lots of meat in there. I feel strong eating all that meat. I feel pretty great. Although, this is a bit too much fat for me. Mm. Once in a while, that's okay to try, because you cannot find. Since I'm traveling, I'm eating all types of food, trying it here and there, but uh, I'm trying not to eat that much of a fatty, fatty food like that. Since I'm in Azerbaijan, I'm trying it all. I'm not scared. Plus, what I love about Azerbaijani settings, table settings, they serve you a lot of pretty much greens. You just take it like that, whether it's onions, or celery, parsley, parsley most of the time. And just eat it like this. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. This type of greens helps you digest this food much better. I'm looking at this fish right now, and I think I'm ready to try some of that fish with this pomegranate sauce. It's called nashara. That fish is nice and orange from all of this tomato sauce. Mm. This fish is so firm. Never tasted such thing. Maybe I have before, but this is interesting texture on that fish. I'm trying to think what it reminds me of. Very firm. Just like the... How do I describe this? Mmm, the sweet and sour sauce. Oh, I think it's from pomegranate sauce. So good. So good. Slightly sour. Wow, incredibly sweet. And a, a bit... Chewy, textured. Something like a... I'm eating a squid or something like that. Very firm, strong. Never tasted such a fish before. I think so. I like it. Let's give a chance to this potato cooked together with the lamb tail fat. You can never go wrong with a potato. Super soft. <laughs> incredibly, incredibly soft. Nice, toasty. I love potatoes cooked outdoors on an open fire with, uh, with charcoal and coal. Mm. Potato always a comfort food always brings me to the childhood times. My god. Just saw that sauce. You know what that sauce is? Basically it's my name with the A in front of it. This sauce at Jika, you have pretty much coriander, cumin, some greens, some tomato paste and stuff like that. It's basically Azerbaijani chili sauce. Ajika. What do you eat ajika with? With any type of meat? Uh, with chicken? Uh, chicken. Mm -hmm. It's good with chicken. Oh, you know what? 
Let me try some of the lamb ribs. It's a lot of meat, so I gotta pick and choose and see which one I wanna eat. Are you gonna eat some lamb ribs too? Oh, there's so much fat, you guys. This is crazy. So much fat. I'm sure it's delicious. Okay, you would you like some ajika? Yeah. No? You don't like ajika? <laughs> well, we're here in Azerbaijan and it's our only chance to try some ajika because we don't get some of that in US, especially freshly made. So here I go. Mm. Ajika is very, very sour. It's not so spicy though, just like the chili sauce. It has some spiciness to it, but it's very, very light. And you know what? Lamb is pretty chewy. It's not dark, it looks white, almost like it's pork or something. But um, I'm gonna give it an extra bite. Chew it. Hmm, mm, now that I'm chewing on it, yes, it is lamb, but uh, not much meat around it. Lots of fat, classic lamb. Classic lamb move. You think this was soft? I think it was pretty chewy. No ajika this time. All right, here I go. It's delicious, no doubt. It's chewy, yet it's not chewy, dry chewy, it's chewy, soft chewy, that's for sure. Mm. I truly enjoy the simple seasoning. Salt, pepper, takes you a long way. I know, Southeast Asians wouldn't agree with me. They love their spices. But if you enjoy some simple, healthy, good cooked meal, come to Azerbaijan Baku and give it a try. Wow, that was awesome. My dress can barely zip up. It was pretty delicious. I'm not gonna lie, I took some food with me to go because that was a lot of meat. This small yet cozy place is very humble, yet you can see it's right in the middle of the main street of the local neighborhood where people live. You can get some clothing, you can go to uh, get some medicine here at the pharmacy, and you can get some kebabs, burgers, all types of different meat right here in the middle of Baku. So it's called Seydin Doneri Kebab, you guys. If you ever here in Baku, come check this out. It was Jika here with y'all from Street Fit. Make sure you guys leave us some comments. Let me know how we can improve our channel and what more types of food you would want us to try. Much love to y'all. I'll see you in the next video.